I have the immense pleasure and honor of introducing to you our valedictorian, Austin Morse, who killed me in a ping pong game. Three games just last week. We're ready for your speech, Austin. Come on.
sophomore year, we hit a double. In our junior year, we hit a triple. And then, in our senior year, we scored our home run. Out of the park. It took us four wonderful years of high school to achieve our goal, making it to the World Series of Life. It wasn't easy. But here we are. Ready to go. Of course, we did have some struggles and difficult parts to overcome when we were here. But we faced our challenges like a major league baseball pitcher. Some problems are easy to strike out, and others take a full count. But we still strike them enough. Our SC leaders will never give up, right? Never give up a walk. Some of us may be concerned about meeting RSD. At RSD, we're comfortable with the environment, we know our routine. But after graduation, we will all move on with our lives. Everything will be new. The people, the places, the teachers, the experiences, and our new roles that we'll be taking on. We'll become responsible for making our own choices. It's a big responsibility to do this. And we have to take this role very seriously. <coughs> I'm reminded of a quote from a very respected philosopher, Confucius, who said, wherever you go, go with all your heart. If we look to our hearts, help us make these big decisions, even when it's risky, or even when it's a choice that will change our lives, we'll always be trying to make the right choice. We use our heart only. So maybe you've seen some of the seniors wearing these colored wrist bracelets, and on them it says, push yourself. Well, I've learned the only way to grow is to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. I found in my 17 years of life that you will not get any better by doing what you've always done. You just continue to where you were. You have to have a personal plan of action to go outside of your comfort zones and pursue your, your success. <clears throat> I would like to thank Mr. Lippitz for introducing us to that concept of push yourself, of never giving up. share a few pieces of advice with my classmates. First of all, don't forget what you've accomplished in the past. You made it here. Don't forget that. Second, cherish what you have right now. Cherish the here and now, including this very moment. And third, envision that future that you want and work to get there. In conclusion, I'd like to take this opportunity to Thank my family for their love and support. Most especially my mom, my dad, and my sister Kayla. My sister's been an amazing role model for me. And next year we'll both be attending RIT together. I think. I'm not sure it's a good idea. We'll see. <laughs> Parents, you're like our backbone. Our parents are the reason why we're all standing here today. They've driven us places. They've loved us. They've cared for us. They've given us their support and their faith in our ability to succeed. Please join me in a round of applause for our parents. our friends, and everyone else here at RSD. I want to thank you for your commitment to our success. Please also give a round of applause for our teachers, staff, friends, and everyone else here at RSD. I'd like to leave you with one final thought from Benjamin Franklin. He said, 
Well done is better than well said. So seniors, don't forget. Don't just say you're going to do something. Take action and do it. Show the world. I have one question for you, RSD. Are you ready to make RSD proud? Are you ready to be alumni? Are 